Hey, I'm Chris Hemsworth, and this is the Wired Auto Complete interview. Uh, okay, now, so I'm answering what I think, or what? All right. How is Chris Hemsworth? Is that it? <laughs> I'm really enjoying being in Australia. Um, I've been away for a while. And I'm going to be here for a bit now, so I'm excited. I'm excited to be home. How did Chris Hemsworth get cast as Thor? I auditioned for Thor many years ago, probably 11, 12 years ago, and um, I didn't get a call back. Um, I think my audition sucked. I think that was, that was the response I got. And then my younger brother auditioned and he got very close. He got down to the last five people and, uh, and then didn't get it. And they were like, look, he's great, but he's a bit young. My, my manager then said, well, he does have an older brother, which was me. I came back in, re-auditioned a few times and just had a different attitude. Maybe I had a little, a little more sort of motivation that my little brother had got to look in and I hadn't. I also had done a couple of films in between those two auditions, so I had a bit more experience and confidence in, in, uh, in what I was gonna do. Yeah, I was so, so excited. Um, I had a very slight hesitation about it was gonna be a six picture deal and did I wanna be locked in and typecast as one character? And then I was like, you don't have a choice, so shut up. And I pushed that, that voice aside and said, yep. You know, I went, but I didn't really know, none of us did if it was gonna work or if there was gonna be an extension beyond that first film into, you know, Thor 2, 3, 4, et cetera, or Avengers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. It was all just an idea and a dream and one that I was on board with. How did Chris Hemsworth meet wife? We had a dialect coach that we were both working with separately who said we should meet. And it was, I want to say it was a blind date, but it wasn't because I Googled her. Then I went away and shot a movie and then I came back and then we went and shot another movie. And so it was this kind of long extended uh, introduction, I guess. And then the rest is history. How is Chris Hemsworth still alive? <laughs> uh, hmm. He, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the luck of the draw, isn't it? I don't know, how am I still alive? None of us know that. I could tell you that, uh, you know, it's because I'm healthy and doing X, Y, and Z, but, uh, you know, it hasn't worked out for some people either. And some, you know, We've all got aunties and uncles and grandpas and grandparents who have done all the wrong things and lived to a hundred, so who knows, mate. Just, 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 just enjoy the ride while you can. What does Chris Hemsworth want? I want to go on a month-long surf trip uh, throughout Indonesia and just hop from island to island to surf break to surf break and do nothing but, but surf and relax and chill. You know, I've had a pretty busy run of work for the last... 10 years and it's, it's been exciting and, 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 and fun, but I love just to unplug for a while and that sounds like a pretty good way to do it. For me, the ocean is just a wonderful reset. What was Chris Hemsworth's first job? Well, get ready. I used to work for a, uh, like a white goods company that make fridges and I used to fix and repair and clean breast pumps and milk extractors. Yep, you didn't miss, miss, miss hear that. That's what it was my job. And this uh, company used to rent them out to various pharmacies and chemists. And they would come back and they wouldn't work sometimes. They needed to be cleaned and I would clean them and repair them. And I just remember being really bored. I remember sitting in a factory after work and thinking, you know, I'm going to earn my 10 bucks here or whatever. And, and just like I'd make playlists to try and sort of get me through it. Music that would keep me in a sort of calm state and not want to, you know, Launch that machine across the wall. Van Morrison, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, a lot of music that my parents listened to. And I used to kind of think about what I wanted to do, which was act and all the you know the other exciting things I wanted to sort of journey into. So it was good, you know. Boredom is kind of a good space to do some solid thinking, and I did plenty of that. What sport? Oh, I've missed one. Hang on, forget that. What is Chris Hemsworth's? Last Marvel movie. Well, the last one I just shot was Thor Love and Thunder. And it may be my last, I don't know. It was a, a wild and fun and wacky experience as all Taika Waititi uh, movies are. Played that character for 10, 11 years now and each time it's been new and exciting and, and this, this was no exception to that. It felt very fresh and it felt like we were trying something we hadn't tried before. It was, uh, in Taika's words, I think a wacky, wild, 
romantic comedy set in space. Yeah, in the last movie would have been Endgame, where we saw Thor in a very disheveled, broken sort of emotional state. You know, physically, mentally, he wasn't quite himself. And he had some work to do. So he leaves that film with the Guardians of the Galaxy and embarks on a journey of self-discovery. And that's where we pick this up. So what sports does Chris Hemsworth play? I surf a lot. Um, I love I love staying active. I like being outdoors. I like circuit training, um, kettlebell workouts, functional movement. Um, I don't love long distance running. I love swimming. My kids and my wife love horse riding and I do a little bit of that. What is Chris Hemsworth's favorite hobby? We just kind of talked about that, didn't we? <laughs> uh, I'll say something else. You know, I've really enjoyed snowboarding lately. One of those sports you do more and more, obviously you get a little better at. And so once a few things clicked into place, uh, it, it gave me the same freedom and fun, enjoyment and thrill that surfing gives me. But also my kids do it now and they love it. And we can ski, snowboard down the mountain together. And there's not many activities where you get to do side by side um, with your kids where you all truly love it to the same extent and have the same thrill and excitement occurring. Who is Chris Hemsworth? Uh, Chris Hemsworth is uh, an Australian and is <laughs> sometimes has a uh, problem answering questions with any wit and charm. Who did Chris Hemsworth play first? My first acting gig was, um, well, I got cast as somewhat of an extra on a show called Guinevere Jones, where I was playing King Arthur. I had a lovely dark red brown wig on, period costume and so on. And that was cool. That was just like, whoa, I'm on a movie set or a TV set. This is what it feels like. This is my big break. My next, uh, job was a show called The Saddle Club. I played a young uh, veterinarian nurse and I was 18 or 19 at the time. Scared out of my mind, first job, thought this is it, this is my shot. Put a lot of pressure on myself and was like a <clears throat> deer in the headlights. So, yeah, it's, I was just a, a bundle of nerves and anxiety. Who would Chris Hemsworth want to play ah these days who would i want to play i don't know i don't know each time it's different you know i think i want to do a drama and then along comes a hilarious comedy and i think okay cool actually that's fun let's go do that and the vice versa and so on so i don't know that i have any particular one character that i want to play as such i just want to just want to keep having fun keep enjoying the ride who is chris hemsworth's favorite actress Ooh, the pressure kate blanchett i worked with on ragnarok it's pretty hard to, uh, to go by, you know, being an Australian, uh, a fellow Aussie, someone I've looked up to for many, many years and has just been in some of my favourite films, played some of the best characters on screen and continues to, to do it with such grace and integrity and has a wonderful sense of humour and warmth and is kind and supportive. She, uh, she's, she's brilliant. Who is Chris Hemsworth's favourite band? Ooh. Uh, I'd say the Teskey Brothers, an Australian uh, singer-songwriter, folk, um, bluesy kind of vibe. The lead singer has uh, one of the best voices in the music game, I think. I find the, the music is very, it has a sort of um, the Van Morrison, uh, Ray LaMontagne, Nina Simone, Otis Reading. Uh, I don't know, there's just a mixture of all these other artists and quite a nostalgia to their music, which I find is, is enjoyable and calming and I can have it on in the background or I can crank it up at a party, either or. They fit all of my moods. <laughs> Thank you. What is Chris Hemsworth's haircut? <laughs> Luca Vanella is uh, the guy I work with, hairdresser on all of my movies. He makes all the wigs, designs them. Cuts my hair, so this is this is this is it. This is this is the look of vanilla. I've actually stuck with this haircut, I think, for a while now. I look back at when I was on Home and Away, this Australian TV show. I love that experience; it's a lot of fun. But my haircut was shocking. I came in with long hair; it was pretty cool, and I wanted to cut it. And I just had this like I don't even know what it was. It's kind of a mullet, kind of a flat fringe. I didn't want to put product in it, and it was just like it's like bed hair, but not cool bed hair. It was it was it was, it was pretty brutal. What is Chris Hemsworth's zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. I'm, you know, interested if someone wants to talk about it to me and, and tell me things about it, but I, I haven't used any of the knowledge 
to my advantage or hasn't helped me understand myself or anyone else really yet, but maybe I haven't explored it enough. I don't know. What is Chris Hemsworth's personality? <laughs> I'm fun, enthusiastic. I think I'm adventurous. I don't love sitting still and, and the fear of boredom certainly keeps me moving forward and gives me momentum to try and explore new things. What is next for Chris Hemsworth? I'm going to have some downtime and really enjoy being with my family and being home and being in one place. And I feel like I've been unpacking suitcases and packing suitcases and traveling across the world for so many, you know, years now, 10, 12 years. And it's been incredible. And I'm so, so thankful for all of it. But I'd love to just be still for a while now and inhabit a more simple, slower environment. <laughs> what is Chris Hemsworth diet? I'd like to think I eat a fairly balanced diet. I do, do eat a lot of uh, protein, um, but also have a lot of vegetables. I don't eat a huge amount of carbohydrate. I think my body responds to uh, lean protein more so and, and healthy fats and, and vegetables. But like anyone, you know, I, I, uh, I have a sweet tooth. I have a, a, a real appetite and passion for pizza and burgers and ice cream and all the, all the bad things. You know, but I try to give myself, you know, it's sort of an 80-20 rule, 80%, 20% with the, you know, the good being 80 and 20% being the, the cheat meal, if you will. Can Chris Hemsworth sing? No. Does Chris Hemsworth like singing? Loves it. Love it. Really enjoy it. But going off the response of my family and friends, I'd say, no, nah, definitely not. Can Chris Hemsworth do an American accent? <laughs> I'd like to think so, yeah. I've done some bad ones and I've done some that I'm more proud of. And it all depends on, you know, the prep period you have, uh, the coach you're working with, what part of America it is. And, you know, if that's something you, uh, you gravitate toward and, you know, some, some of it comes easier, some of it doesn't, that's up for you to do, decide though. So, Can Chris Hemsworth play guitar? I can play a little bit, yeah. I can't say I play really well, but I do enjoy it, much like my the singing and guitar. I just don't think anyone else enjoys it. So it's more of a quiet time, kind of me in my own space experience. <laughs> can Chris Hemsworth do a backflip? No. <laughs> my son can. My son does them repeatedly until he exhausts himself to the point and then he goes to sleep. Can Chris Hemsworth bench 300 pounds? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not a big bench press guy. I like, uh, I do a lot of push-ups. I'll do dumbbell press, but I don't tend to go too heavy just because it kind of tweaks my shoulder. And these days, you know, I, I mean, for Thor, Love and Thunder, I think I'm the biggest I have ever was and, and probably in the best shape I've ever been in. And that, but that was very strategic, different exercises, um, shaping my physique, and then also a very specific diet. But bench press, not a big strength of mine, no. Does Chris Hemsworth have tattoos. I do have tattoos, yeah. Um, I have a tattoo here that Robert Downey Jr. had someone design, which was when we were on the Avengers press tour, which we all got. I have Dr. Zeus tattoo, because it was a book I read my daughter a lot when, when she was growing up. It's one of her favorite books. I have a series of little things in my forearms that my daughter actually drew herself, tattooed, and then a sort of, um, a kind of sacred geometry kind of whatever tattoo, which you could dig out all sorts of meaning. I myself, you know, it's just a cool little image to me. <laughs> Does Chris Hemsworth have a brother? Yes, I have two brothers, Luke and Liam. <laughs> Does Chris Hemsworth uh, like playing Thor? I love playing Thor. I played it for many, many years and would continue to do so if people wanted me to. The most challenging part of playing Thor is reinventing it each time and, and not having it be predictable for an audience and having it be something they've seen before. It, the goal is to continually try something new and keep it fresh. And, and that is a challenge, but part of the fun. Does Chris Hemsworth change his accent for Thor? I try to, yeah. It's slowly morphed into a version of my accent over the years, but initially it was sort of a Shakespearean um, mid-Atlantic accent we were going for. I still have a feel of that, but it's loosened over the years as my interpretation of the character is loosened too. All right, that's it. That is all the questions. Thank you very much for the questions. They were great. They were intriguing and uh, fascinating. I was surprised to see that, that those questions came up and what you were searching for. But there you go. You have all the answers. So no need to, you know, search anymore. Here I am. <laughs>